Throughout the heatwave, crowds have flocked to beaches and beauty spots across the country. We went to Brandon Hill Park to find out how people feel about maintaining social distancing outdoors and the possibility of government intervention. I went to a beach um, two days ago, but we went quite far, so it wasn't very crowded, because I've seen pictures of the London beaches were packed, and we were definitely able to stay two meters away. And I have been to a few, I mean, I've been here a few times. I think it just depends, obviously, because you don't know how crowded it's gonna be until you get there, really. There are occasions when it's almost impossible to socially distance by maybe just walking down, say, narrow paths. But uh, if, you're, if you're in parks, people try to respect the social distance when, when possible, yes. I think in the parks, more so than what I've seen at the beaches, obviously I've not been there, but I've seen a lot. Um, the parks, generally, people are following it, but there are some people, there's definitely people who aren't. We also asked whether they felt that the government was justified in threatening to impose a beach ban. They do think it's, you know, maybe not, maybe they should just enforce it more, maybe they should have more police enforcing it rather than stopping it, but I definitely think they need to do something because it's like, we spent all this time at home, you know, it's awful being at home for like a month and then to have people just flock together and basically ruin all the hard work that we've done. Yeah, that is kind of ridiculous. I think that they should be stricter and... Um... I mean, it's, it's almost entirely based on the trust of the people. Um, so, so even if the government says that they, want to, that they want to lock down the beaches, close the beaches, uh, people will just find other places to go. If you shut the beaches, people would just go to the parks or people would just go to each other's houses, really.